Chelsea Manning's being released by Barack Obama, that's a really good thing, isn't it? Surely you can't find some way to moan about that and say that there's a problem, can you, Russell? Yes, I can. Here is that way. It's some truths. Dr. Bob segment tonight, Private Chelsea Manning, who used to be Bradley Manning. Which I don't agree with. I mean, the fact is, if you're in prison and you've got time to have gender realignment surgery, I mean, how seriously are you taking it? Just stay away from that, mate. You don't need to get involved in Chelsea Manning's gender realignment surgery. Let's focus on whether or not a person's been wrongly imprisoned for revealing information to the public that they should have known in the first place, and that information has been largely brushed over because of stupid, sensationalising news reporting like that there, and not like this round in this area, what I'm doing. He's serving 35 years at Fort Leavenworth, Kansas, convicted of multiple charges under the Espionage Act. Manning leaked hundreds of thousands of documents to WikiLeaks, some of which put people in physical danger. Well, actually, it does say no instances were ever found of any individual killed by enemy forces. It was embarrassing but not damaging, said the State Department. Vice President Joe Biden said, I don't think there's any damage. Uh, US officials admitted under oath not a single person died. And they said, basically, it was a bit awkward. Don't you ever embarrass me like that again, Jeffrey. Go to prison for 35 years. It's like for being slightly embarrassed, having to go to prison for ages. An overreaction at best. Yesterday, the president commuted Manning's sentence. Private Manning will be released in a few months. And joining us now from Washington, Senator John McCain. There he is, Senator John McCain, a man, let's face it, looks like a beaming and angelic fellow who did endure torture himself, only to come out and triumph over adversity. Perhaps I don't know where he's going to fall on this issue, but I do know that Chelsea Manning tried to commit suicide while in prison and was put in solitary confinement as a punishment. Time alone to think about things, what causes people to get suicidal. So your reaction uh, to the commutation? Rage, uh, frustration and sorrow. Sorrow for the families of those individuals who are identified in these leaks in Afghanistan that the Taliban went after and murdered. It's difficult to contest anything that John McCain says because he did do something really, really heroic. If you read David Foster Wallace's article on John McCain and being on the campaign trail, but I think what's important about this case regarding Chelsea Manning is the revelations themselves. Because, like, I've been distracted by the superficial foaming uh, information also. Because, look, as well as the details of concealing the US body count and torture and abuse in the Middle East, that's the stuff we're sort of vaguely familiar with, isn't it? There were also details on the US trying to get Spain to curb its probes of Guantanamo Bay torture, Egyptian torturers trained by the FBI. The UK promised in 2009 to protect US interests in the official Chilcot inquiry on the start of the Iraq war. We're all involved. The oil giant Shell inserted staff and infiltrated Nigeria's government. Also, the US routinely collaborated with Arab dictators behind closed doors while proclaiming its commitment to democracy in public. So what these WikiLeaks essentially revealed is all of those things that people like Julian Assange and other people that speak out against the corruption and the corruption of the powerful, uh, that, that's all true. Oh, you know what, you can't trust any of them. They're all bloody collaborating with dictatorships abroad. They're only pursuing financial imperatives. All that stuff is totally, totally true. And really, I suppose the whole treatment of Chelsea Manning, Snowden, and Assange is to make the stories about them and not about the revelations, which is successfully what's happened, isn't it? Because I don't, even now, I've only just read these out and I've already forgotten what I've said. How do you know, how do you know that uh, Manning's leagues directly led to a person's death? Uh, the information I received when I was there was that the Taliban went after these people. I assume killed them. It's a big assumption. I assume they killed them. So what we're basing this on is assumptions. That's right. Good old fashioned assumptions. Okay. Now, uh, I guess uh, Manning has served seven years, something like that, uh, and then President Obama says, well, that's enough. I mean, that's commiserate with what she did. Well, of course, that's outrageous. What is more egregious than uh, providing the enemy with information that would help them? Oh, well, I mean, I'll give you this job. Uh, hiding sex abuse cases, curbing probes into FBI torture, lying about corruption in Tunisia, protecting US interests in Iraq, infiltrating the Nigerian government with Shell Oil employees, spying at the United Nations and routinely collaborating with dictators. All worse than assuming that something might lead to something else. Which over time then puts the lives of the men and women serving in uniform in greater danger. 
and is there any argument that anyone could have that WikiLeaks didn't do that? Yeah. There's this big argument here, look, I don't think there's any substantive damage, says Joe Biden. No single person died as a result of it. It was awkward and modest, says uh, Defence Secretary Robert Gates. So there's loads of evidence, loads. So you believe that uh, the president is misguided in his sympathies here. Do you think it has anything to do with uh, the private being transgender? Because I do. I mean, just to let you know where I'm going, I'm going to tap, tap, tap at the air with my pen of beliefs. Do you think it too, John? And would you say it, please, that you do? Will ya? I, I have no idea. I'm not a petty-minded, trivial man. Ah, shit. What the motivation is. It would really help me if you could blame this on transgender issues. It's the sort of thing I don't much like. I understand that there was a lot of people who were arguing for this commutation. Look, we're going to put up a picture of a person either side of gender alignment, and you can think for a moment that that shouldn't happen, would you? I would expect any commander in chief before commuting the sentence of someone of this nature would consult with our military leaders. John McCain, not really keen to keep it on his own level, like he is at least following an ideology. Bill would just attack anything that goes past him. Like, he'd change the subject to having a go at squirrels if he saw one. What about that bastard over there? Is that to blame? Oh, I, I don't know, Bill, because I'm thinking that the Senate... No, I don't like it. Just touch my chocolates. Senator, we always appreciate it. Thanks very much. So in spite of uh, Bill O'Reilly's attempts to make it, puerile and ideological and socially diffuse in an attack on non-majority sexual identity. It seems that the real facts of the matter are no one was harmed by those revelations and it revealed loads of really, really important things about how the world's run, including collaboration with dictators, torture and the support of torture, child abuse in the Vatican, so much stuff it's really, really hard to deal with. Why don't we just stick with blaming individuals for trying to be honest and trying to make a bloody difference? There's some true news. Subscribe just in that area. Nose is a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Trolls is like the nose. If the nose was true, I want some trolls. Let's have some trolls.